Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I just have a quick flight video with the Hubson H107D Plus outside. Now if you saw my previous video where I showed the different FPV options, that is what I am using here. I'm using the Deviation TX software with the Warcura Devo 7E and also with the extra modules that are required to get that protocol working. Now on that video I didn't manage to get a flight video outside because the weather has been terrible. As you can see it's not brilliant here but it stopped snowing just long enough for me to be able to get a flight and it was fairly calm. So I just wanted to see how it performed. So first of all I can see straight away that the footage is just so much smoother and that isn't really to do with the weather or the wind it's more to do with the fact that with the Devo 7E I have that tension throttle I can adjust it so I'm not purely just relying on the altitude hold to get a stable hover I can move the throttle around and I can be much more accurate on the controls as well because the Devo 7E has gimbal sticks and the Hubson stock transmitter is using toy grade parts and I find those really difficult to fly with. I think once you've flown with a hobby grade transmitter it's hard to go back to those toy grade ones. So just flying around the street here not trying to go too far away from myself because I can't. Now I mentioned before that I was using a Wi-Fi booster on the Devo 7E and it really isn't required with the stock antenna and that is just because the range is so poor on the 5.8 gigahertz video so when I did my original review I wasn't getting any range at all out of the video and I put that down to the fact that the transmitter, the video screen on the transmitter, black screens or blue screens, signal loss detection, whatever you want to call it, but actually I'm using the fat shark goggles here and I'm losing the footage about here and I have to fly back to myself. I'm gonna look to see if I can take that antenna and mount it vertically but I think you'll agree quite good video footage there, very stable. Uh, so yeah look out for more modifications to the H107D+. Thanks so much for watching, please continue to subscribe, cheers.